we're going to look at how you can reorder questions in a quiz. So to do that, we'll go into the questions in our quiz. You can see we have our questions here as check your knowledge question one, two, three, four. Now they're numbered here because that was the name of the quiz that we gave it. And this is more so that we can look back at our original quiz document. And in this case, I'll give you a quick look at what that looks like. So our quiz document here might have in there question number one is this, and it makes it easier for us to jump back to our questions. Here you go, question one. Okay, oh, that was the one. But we may want to rearrange them for some reason into a slightly different order. To do that, it's quite simple. You can just drag uh, using the little arrow here. You can just drag and drop and reorder the questions. Now notice that we have page names. So page one, page two. I now have two questions on one page together. So I can reorder them still as question one and two, but group them together. So these three questions might all fit together and belong together. The first question may actually have a description of a scenario, and then all these three questions relate to that one scenario. And that's one way of putting that in there and grouping them together. So again, I could put these on the same page together and leave the last one. Um, check your knowledge quiz, which was an essay. Yes, that's right on its own page. So now we're down to three pages for our quiz rather than being seven pages where they've got to keep clicking next, next and next. Something we can add as part of this though, if we add a new question, go down to description and select add, we can just put in here and I'll put in the question quiz and I'll call this scenario um, and this is a scenario dot 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 as a question, sorry, as a um, as some text for it, and I'll save changes. And you can see now we have quiz scenario. So let's say this group of questions on page two were actually part of a scenario. I can put in the text relating to the scenario at the top and then have all the questions, the actual questions, sitting below that scenario. So these questions may all relate to that one scenario, or that might have an image in there that they need to refer to or something like that. You can group them all together. Let's have a bit of a look and see what this actually looks like to the student. So let's go back to our quiz and preview. You can see here that questions one, two, and three are now on the first page. So I can answer all of those. Notice on the right hand side with our navigation, we've got all three together. If I click on the next one, it jumps to this scenario, which is just information, and then they can answer all three questions together in the next page. So there may be cases where you need to group things like that, and obviously the last one, when we go to next page, gives us uh, our essay question, where they had to type in something and we have to grade that later. So that's one way of rearranging our questions. Uh, obviously you can rearrange them in any order you like, and it doesn't matter if the question one, two, three, four numbering changes, like if that's put into a different order, that's quite okay. These were more our reference to know that in our document where we created our quizzes, that that's where we go to find that particular question, or that, yeah, that question and the answers relating to that question, which just makes the whole management process much, much easier. So that's how you reorder quiz questions in a quiz.